picture NASA released yesterday from their new telescope was really just the beginning. NASA just released the full gallery of the images they captured. I mean, look, look at, at this. that. It's amazing. So, the, so these, cool. these are images like 7,600 light years out into space. Right. Mm. A gaseous emission from uh, a dying star? Is that, is, is that, is that what it is there? Well, Brian? I don't we know, have, but we have we, somebody who really does. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah. let's talk about the science behind the shots in a way that hopefully we can understand our favorite astrophysicist, Dr. Joe Pesh, with the U.S. National Science Foundation. Thank you once again uh, for joining us to try to explain some of this stuff. Explain how we, we captured these, these images and what we're looking at. Thank you, for, thank you for having me and talking about my favorite subject. So these are the long-awaited James Webb Space Telescope images, the first images, and they're spectacular. Um, I've, I've, I saw the first one, of course, last night, and so I've been thinking more about that. Uh, these new ones that came in this morning, I've been in front of the camera for, for quite a bit of this morning, so I've only seen them uh, fleetingly, but they're just remarkable. And they show uh, a range of observations that Webb will, will make starting now and, and throughout its history. Uh, an interesting collection of, of images, right? So number one, we are seeing old favorites in a new and better way because Webb is the largest space telescope and it's the largest space telescope in the wavelength that it observes, and that is in the infrared part of the electromagnetic spectrum. So, you know, we'll see objects that we've observed before, but we see them with better resolution and, uh, and with, with more information than we've been able to obtain before. So those are the old favorites. And then there's going to be new things, and a lot of new things that we can't even contemplate now. This is astronomy is in discovery space. Every time we look up and take an image, or take an observation, we might see something new. And Webb, because of its fantastic new capabilities, will be showing us lots of new and novel things. The image with the cluster of galaxies uh, that, that many have seen and, and will see, certainly, is a remarkable image, and we can talk about that later. But in particular, it shows very, very distant galaxies in the very early part of our universe. And so that's uh, the strength of James Webb as well, being able to observe these very distant faint objects. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Do, Dr. Joe, you're saying this is from the oldest part of the galaxy. How do we know that this is one of the oldest parts? Is it that everything is traveling away from that area? or How, how do we know? So we can measure distance. Um, as, you, as you point out, large scale, on the large scale, objects are all moving away from each other uh, from the Big Bang event. And if we measure, we can measure their spectrum, that is like their, like their rainbow, and we can determine distances. And so we do this uh, with, with, with objects, with astronomical objects, and we can measure their distances, galaxies, for example. And then those very um, faint objects that are in the cluster of galaxies image, the ones that are, that are the most red, we know come from about 13 billion light years away. And, you know, the universe is 13.8 billion or so, 8 billion years old. And so this is from a very, very early phase in the history of the universe. And the first time seen, because the, the James Webb Space Telescope is, is so good, we're able to observe these faint objects. And, and now we'll learn both about those objects as they form, because that's an important thing in astronomy. How do galaxies form? And we're seeing them in their very early days. And then we're also observing the universe in its very early days as well. And that tells us about the universe. So, so really exciting. And Dr. Joe, we have about 30 seconds left. But, uh, you know, this is only the beginning, I'm assuming. We, we should expect a, a lot more images to come. Yeah, absolutely. This is, the, you know, five images that, that were taken to kind of show off the capabilities, but this is truly only the beginning, and we should expect lots and lots more, and we'll be learning lots about astronomy. Again, our old favorites and new things that we can't possibly have thought about uh, even today that the James Webb Space Telescope will be observing over the, over the coming years. Well, thank you for, for filling us in and answering our, our silly questions. Dr. Joe Pesh with the U.S. National Science Foundation. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you for having me. So cool, you I guys. mean, it's so, amazing. So cool. I can't wait what they discover with these. <laughs> I know, I know. In a galaxy yeah. far, far away. Exactly. It is real. Yeah. It is real.